Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. A lot has been happening with SJAM and oh boy, it seems SJAM has removed his channel once again because a lot of stuff has been happening. It seems he's locked out of his bank accounts because for some reason or another, maybe people, somebody knows his, uh, maybe his username or his bank account details, excluding the password, maybe tried a few times and locked him out. I have no idea, but something's going on with his bank accounts. He's locked out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. On top of that, he seems uh, very upset based on certain things that have been happening in the last few days and uh, one of those things would be that uh, he's been getting into fights with of course Jack Mayoff aka Barney aka Kermit the Frog and uh, Ariel G they've been making videos and live streams about him and he's not really liking that so let's take a look uh, here we go so they were posting a lot of stuff about poor S Jam and S Jam retaliated a few days ago saying bye bye Ariel you piece of human waste thinking that he got rid of her channel a few days ago but she just actually uh, suspended her channel herself then after that we have he said Barney you old sack we're coming for you now girl because he thought it once again he was successful but he wasn't and then yesterday a day ago yesterday he put up this in his community tab. Jacqueline, a red heart, a purple heart, question mark, kisses, I love you. And a lot of people were upset at this. Even uh, Sleepy Moo was like, if you're going to do this again, if she's going to be back, then Sleepy Moo was like, I'm going to be done. And it's understandable because a lot's been going on with s -Jam. If you haven't been keeping up with the story, then you're probably lost, but a lot has been going on. So let's take a look at what he was saying. This is his last live stream. Fuck off. While you're at it. All right. Hey, you can fucking eat it too. Uh, eat my ass. Hey. So some people are saying he's inebriated like he's been drinking, but he's also been driving around all day, even yesterday driving around. Um, he's also upset he ruined the cake for one of his cats. I believe the cat's name is Luna. I know there's Large Marge, there's Twix, but I do believe the cat he made the cake for is Luna and she turned five today. And he was upset that he made a cake, but there wasn't enough icing. I'm like, best jam cats don't even eat cake so i guess the cake is for you you're gonna eat the cake in place of the cat yes sleepy get rid of them thank you yeah these specific women are fucking mutts they deserve to fucking be dead they don't deserve to breathe that's just it's terrible, but it's so fucking true. Yikes. And that's another thing he was calling Ariel G and Barney mutts. And he was, you know, wishing awful things like uh, they should be unalived. It was a whole mess stream. Of course, the stream would be deleted. This is what he usually does is delete these streams. There was even a stream before this that... I caught a little bit off, but then poof, it was gone. So I'm really interested in that stream as well, what was happening there. But hey, um, it seems the time off didn't do s -Jam justice because we're back to what seems to be the same old, same old. He also went over to his parents' house and his mom caught him because I guess he left the blinds up instead of putting them back down. He took some... Uh, a cup of oil that he needed and whatnot. He also was driving around uh, the downtown area of, you know, his little town. And he said he saw Ronnie and Ronnie had a pretty thick beard in. No, they don't, they don't exist here anymore. So. Fuck no, they don't deserve to breathe. Have you fucking seen these mutts? These fucking people that are trying to be fucking 
making videos about me or other people, nah. They're really disgusting pieces of shit. And no, don't feel bad about that at all. Yeah, when it comes to these specific people, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lose your breath, get hit by a bus, pass away. Man. Because in my head, you're already passed away. And that's being fucking nice about it. And I thought the few months off that S-Jam uh, gave himself would have made a positive change. But it seems we are once again back to this. I'm not sure if he's going to be back because I think, didn't he, did he suspend his channel again for a little while? Um, I don't recall. But he could be back. He could be back later today or tomorrow or maybe never or maybe in a few weeks or a few months. I don't know. So, honestly, it's disgusting. They're disgusting fucking people. All I can say is, you know what, this, this, um, space, this niche, uh, S-Jam needs to have tougher skin. A lot of people have been saying it like he isn't built for it because there is a lot of toxicity here. But also, you gotta have a tough skin because people are gonna be coming at you all over the place, left, right, and center. And there's certain people who will target you if they feel that you are weak or weaker. So you really gotta um, defend yourself in a certain manner and a certain way. Now, I'm sure it's frustrating to be locked out of your bank accounts if that truly is the reality that SJAM is facing. I mean, every time uh, I watch an S Jam stream, certain elements, you know, uh, come out, and uh, uh, what can I say? Um, an S Jam stream is an S Jam stream. I mean, the guy uh, likes cooking. He likes doing stuff. There's an audience for it because I, sometimes I see one or even two hundred people in his streams. So there's an audience that wants to hang out. And watch him cook and just do daily stuff which is pretty cool like you can actually garner an audience without reacting or being a click channel or commentating on foodie beauty which is actually pretty good but then again we get like the dark side of s gem that comes out with the still apparent drinking problem and the thinner skin he's very reactive and to post stuff about Jacqueline where he said he was done with Jacqueline but then posting that up about Jacqueline when allegedly supposedly Jacqueline has been living with a man which is her boyfriend for like 10 years is what I'm hearing so why would S Jam post this once again 24 hours ago when her partner was saying, man, you got played because she's been with me for 10 years. Like, it just don't make any sense. Well, tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. What do you think about this whole situation? Every human has a right to live. Yeah, Lester Ariel or Kermit. Then no, you don't deserve to live. Actually, at all. Not for a fucking second. Hey Corey. Hey Beeson. Well, well, well. Are we seeing the end of S Jam, or will he be back? You know, he's been having a good run, like a no lot of people like to know. alive on my watch, but we can only fucking hope, right? Oh, yeah. It's to the core hate. We're not fucking around anymore. I'm done. We're not even going to talk about what they need to make me. All right.
right, I'm going to end it here. Um, once again, people, tell me your thoughts about this whole situation with SJAM. Um, give me your two cents. I'd like to hear what you your thoughts are. Other than that, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell and I will talk to you later. Take care.